There was never a singular point where I decided to be an artist. I think it was something that was always in my mind and in the background of my life. Uh, in my childhood, it was kind of something that I used as a form of escapism to create new worlds and new situations for myself. I always liked daydreaming, making up fairy tales, reading science fiction. These are all inherent to the way that I cope with my surroundings. For me, painting today, it's not a form of escapism, but I use it as a form of expressing something that I would like a fantasy of the world to be. I'm still daydreaming, in a sense, and when I'm in my studio, I'm creating a new world for myself, but I'm also proposing that we all partake in this new world together. For the past 10 years, I was working within a structure of 31 shapes. I was combining them in different combinations, sort of making sentences. I kind of think of maybe those shapes as atoms, you know, and I was creating helixes first. And, you know, I was kind of like figuring out what I invented. And to do that, you have to practice over and over again, creating new kinds of things. Now I have full understanding and control of the language and what I can make with it. And now I can, therefore, create worlds from it. For me, painting is an act of being absolutely physically present in the moment and in this world. And I would like it to be that for other people as well. Not in the act of painting, but in the act of them looking at the paintings that I'm making. For them to get lost in these worlds and thinking about how they can be more one with their present moment and more one with the world around them. I really felt limited by using brushes. I wanted something more visceral, more immediate than using a brush. I really wanted my hand to connect to the canvas and I found that in oil sticks. And I wanted that hand-to-mind connection. Painting this way really doesn't feel like painting. It, it's kind of like almost sculpting rather than painting. I'm forming the paint with my hands and forming the outlines of all the shapes with my fingers. So it feels very similar in a way to working with clay. The way that human beings process and understand their world is through being physically present in the world. And through painting, that's what I'm trying to express and understand, this connection of the mind to hand and how the mind expresses things without verbalizing them. I wanted to focus on the things that I couldn't explain or understand about myself, that I wanted to explore the more intuitive sides of myself, explore the more dreamlike worlds of my subconscious, of things that I couldn't necessarily put into words or explain fully, but that I would let come out naturally. And so that led me to a form of painting that was more organic and more free-flowing and that allowed me to create worlds instead of little organisms. More of really trying to get in touch with my feelings and trying to get in touch with what kind of feeling I would like the viewer to experience while looking at it. And that has a lot to do with color and what colors go with each other and what colors evoke a certain kind of feeling. I am interested in unique and different color combinations, things that maybe you wouldn't normally see together. I'm very, very interested in capturing a moment that has movement in it. For me, it feels almost like a little butterfly that I want to capture that moment, and then I want to peer at it, and that's the painting. The movement and a feeling of movement adds a certain sense of time and it's a very difficult thing to capture in a still moment. For my solo show at Timothy Taylor, I started working on really, really large-scale paintings for the first time in my life. This is something that I've always, always wanted to do, and I'm so excited to share this large-scale body of work with the rest of the world. The reason that I really wanted to work at such a scale is I wanted the viewer to have a feeling of actually being able to walk in to the world that I was creating. So the body scale size is really important. There was a big breakthrough for me in my work and that was around 2019. I had moved to Los Angeles from New York 
and it was the first time that I lived closer to the natural environment. I'm a city girl, I grew up in Istanbul, I lived in New York, and I was buildings, 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 and angular things, and my whole life was kind of about that kind of mechanical structure. And, and when I moved to LA, I started going on hikes and did this incredible trip up to Northern California, Big Sur, Seattle. My whole life slowed down and allowed me to expand in a way that I could think about things that were in my subconscious, things that connected me to nature through my subconscious. And I really, really wanted that whole perfect storm to come together in my work. And I wanted my work to feel as if it was about those things. Right in the middle of the pandemic, we decided to move from LA to Vermont. The sheer greenness that I see every day around me, the mountains of green, the waterfalls. I walk out of my house every day, I go for a daily hike on a mountain full of trees to a beautiful pond, or I can open my studio door and there's a river rushing right outside my studio door. Living among other beings has become a daily practice for me here in Vermont and something that I can no longer take for granted but I also really deeply want to share with the rest of the world. We absolutely lucked into a really really incredibly beautiful flower garden that's on the side of our house and I've never grown flowers of my own. I've had house plants but to see the flowers change perennially in this garden has been so inspiring for me. To see the all different kinds of colors come together in a way that I would have never thought possible. It's really special when you get to see something like that every single day when you walk out of your house and you know you don't have to go out and seek inspiration. When you're living among flowers then they're there for you all the time and it's almost like they're talking to you. My personal experience of the world is absolutely affecting what I prioritize in life and in the world. Because I'm living in such proximity to the natural environment, I can see how it is affecting me positively, personally, and the human beings that live within this community with me, and how it's affecting them positively. I don't even know where these paintings are coming from. It's been actually a huge surprise for me as well. And the intensity of feeling, of experience translating into these images has been very surprising for me. In my work, I'm trying to propose new realities and new imaginations so that we can look at the work and the paintings and think, a better world is possible and let's all keep on dreaming about it together.